So, today, as promised weeks and weeks and weeks ago, we are going to do the um, next step up from the basic beard tutorial. So this one's going to be a bit of a five o'clock shadow. I'll just get the equipment that you'll need. I need a few things. Um, the most important thing is the um, Laura Mercier Tight Line Cake Eyeliner in Mahogany Brown. It looks like that inside. It's like a tiny little paint pot. You basically wet a brush and use it to put um, eyeliner on. We're going to use it today to do our beard though, because of its paint-like properties. You will also need some CC cream. Um, I use the Avon Ideal Flawless in medium beige. It's going to come out a little bit dark for my skin, but when you've got a fake tan on it, it'll look perfect. You'll need a brow brush. You'll need a couple of spoolie brushes, just in case the first one goes wrong. And you'll need some brow powder. I use this one because it's what I got. It's called Vital Radiance and it's in brunette. So, your first task, get your CC cream, scrooge a little bit of it on your finger. And cover your face in it. It's always important when you're playing around with dark colours to have some kind of base underneath it. And also, if you even out your complexion, um, it's a good idea before using any kind of um, Did I mention how much I don't like the um, lack of surfaces in this bathroom? I really need to do something about that. So, lots of CC cream on a face. Just over as much of it as you can get. making sure that you've covered all the bits you're going to do. I'm getting it over my lips today as well, just because guys tend to have um, a different shade of lips to girls. There we go. Now you've done that, your next task is to get one of your spoolie brushes and your tight line cake eyeliner. Get a bit of water on your screw brush, it's wet like that. And then just roll it over eyeliner. Like that. So just like you're wetting a paint. Remember like at primary school? Whoa! Classy. Okay, totally. Not what we were going for at all there. There we go. So in order to get that working, you need to dab it off with a tissue. As you can see, that's now producing quite a nice result. If you, if you overdo it again, dab it off with a tissue before it dries. And you don't actually need an awful lot of that to make a really strong result. One thing I have noticed is it is running down my fingers. I don't know if you can see. Um, just running down the spoolie brush onto my fingers. So I would be extra careful with that. If it comes out too dark anywhere, just spoosh it off with a bit of tissue. I think it should come out fine. No, I just need to take it around that jawline 
that's quite a hard bit. Just roll it round there. No one's going to be looking terribly closely. A little bit more. Start on the other side. And the reason we use a spoolie brush for this is because it mimics the hairs on the face. It's just a little bit more realistic. So I'm using a sponge. I'm waiting for a parcel right now so I will laugh so much if the parcel turns up while I'm doing this because obviously then I will have to um, answer the door looking like I am wearing a beard which I'm not entirely sure that the world is ready for. And you pair it back just because it gets fine around this top bit. So we just smudge it back on both sides. And that's your five o'clock shadow using a mascara brush. Now, if you wanted to take this a little bit further, what you can do is do your eyebrows in as well, like a guy's. So we're going to do guy brows next. I'll just put this here. Sorry, I would put it over there, but there's nowhere to actually put the camera down over that side of the room, unfortunately. And I'm filming this one during the day. Usually I do it during the night, so it's usually more even light. 
So let's um, let's get our brow powder. Now you'll need to start off with the lighter one just to fill in. As you can see, I haven't plucked my eyebrows for a while, which does help. And basically, just go with a bolder line than you usually would. This is definitely the kind of beard that you'd want if you were doing street theatre or if you were doing film or television rather than um, like staged theatre because this one kind of it looks more realistic up close um, which is what I actually like about this one better whereas the first one I showed you was more of a kind of really obviously not a real beard kind of beard. I mean, if you wanted to spend hours and hours, you could fill it in, like, all of these bits here and all of these bits and make it all look absolutely perfect with your pen eyeliner after you've done um, your actual beard. But I'm not going to do that, because do you know what? <laughs> I'm quite happy with this as a beard, and I'm just going to wash it off in a minute anyway. There we go. So that was actually with the lighter of the two colours, um, just colouring in the eyebrows just to get them to darken down a bit and look a little bit more manly. And then with the darker of the two colours, just want to accentuate the actual hairs in the brow. Like that. And as you can see, that's looking a lot more realistic. I'll just take you over to the uh, daylight where you can see that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm ready for my penis now. Okay, well thanks for watching anyway. Um, if you liked this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I've got another beard tutorial as well that's a bit of a quicker one. Um, but obviously this one is a lot more realistic. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And let me know if you've used this in any kind of theatrical stuff, film, television, street theatre, art installations. Let me know. I love hearing about when people use my makeup ideas. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!